I grew up with a regular intake of meat and dairy and fish and other animal products. Um, I never really questioned the ethics of eating animals because I was brought up to believe that that was normal. And it didn't really occur to me that in order to end up on my plate, the animal would have had to suffer tremendously and that I was also responsible for destroying a large part of the environment just by eating it. The choice to become vegetarian for me was a compassionate one. And the decision to turn vegan um, occurred after I learned that there was still a lot of cruelty involved in the dairy and egg industries. Um, there are lots of reasons why people choose a vegan lifestyle. For many people, it can be a compassionate or ethical or spiritual choice. But similarly, there are powerful reasons for choosing a vegan lifestyle on environmental or health grounds as well. The contribution of animal farming to climate change and environmental destruction far exceeds that from every car, aeroplane and factory combined. In 2006, the United Nations produced a report where they calculated that the emissions from the animal food industry exceeded those caused by the entire transport sector globally. And in 2010, there was an updated analysis published in the World Watch Institute journal where the calculations were that the emissions from the animal food industry uh, accounted for over half of Earth's greenhouse gas emissions at a conservative estimate. So it's not surprising then that the United Nations Environment Programme is actually recommending a worldwide dietary change from animal foods to plant foods for environmental reasons. What they're saying is that a substantial reduction of impacts would only be possible with a worldwide diet change away from animal products. In other words, it's not possible for us to deal effectively with the critical issue of climate change if we don't address the major contribution of animal farming. The cessation of animal farming is achievable if governments act now, and it would also have a demonstrable impact on reducing greenhouse gases within weeks to months because the two major climate change propagators produced by the animal food industry, namely methane and black carbon, clear from our atmosphere within weeks to months. They don't take centuries to clear like carbon dioxide. So a wide-scale transition to the vegan lifestyle, as is currently recommended by the United Nations Environment Programme, is actually the quickest way for us to slash our greenhouse gas emissions in the short term and avert runaway climate change within the next few years. In terms of the causes of major environmental destruction, nothing comes close to animal farming. As well as being the top cause of greenhouse gas emissions, it's also one of the top causes, if not the leading cause, of water pollution, water waste, deforestation, soil erosion, spreading deserts, loss of wild animal and plant species, and oceanic dead zones. It's literally impossible to deal with our current climate change and environmental crisis unless we deal with the issue of animal farming. That means that governments need to stop subsidies to the animal food industry, and they need to support farmers to move to organic vegan farming. And it means that individuals need to stop eating meat, fish, dairy, and other animal products. As long as we continue to eat animals, all of us are responsible for what's happening to the environment. The breeding and fattening of animals for food is a tremendous strain on the world's finite resources. We have a global freshwater crisis. According to the World Resources Institute, by 2025, over 3.5 billion people or half the world's population will not have access to enough fresh water. In the meantime, we're using 70% of the world's fresh water supply to produce our food, and most of that is going to produce meat and dairy. It's been calculated that we would save more water by not eating a few burgers than by not showering for six months. Over 760 million tonnes of grain is fed every year to farm animals. That amount of grain is enough to feed about three billion people. Eating animals propagates human starvation. The next time you eat meat, think of the hundreds of people that could have been fed using the grain that was used to feed the one animal that you're eating. If you don't want to support world hunger, then stop supporting the wasteful use of grain. That means stop eating animals. Many of the common diseases in industrialized countries stem from the fact that we gorge ourselves on so-called food that's unsuited to our anatomy and physiology. In fact, the human body is designed for 100% plant foods. When we eat animals and animal products high in saturated fat, 
we increase our risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, stroke, cancer and other diseases. Unfortunately, you may not hear this information from your doctor because, generally speaking, doctors are poorly educated regarding proper nutrition. However, following publication of studies in peer-reviewed medical journals which have clearly established the link between eating animal products and the development of these diseases, uh, respected international authorities such as the World Health Organization and the United Nations Environment Programme are now recommending a move away from animal foods towards plant foods. Parents watching this video should be aware that the World Cancer Research Fund is recommending that parents should not be putting processed meats like ham and salami into their children's lunchboxes because of the established association between eating these meats and the later development of colon cancer. So if you're not hearing this information from your doctor or in the media, then you can take the initiative yourselves and find out more about the true cost to your own health of eating animals. Protein is the last thing I would worry about on a vegan diet. You'd literally have to be starving to be protein deficient. People worry too much about protein. In fact, it's very, very easy to obtain all of your protein, iron and calcium requirements on a 100% plant-based diet. The American Dietetic Association has produced an excellent publication with references from peer-reviewed medical journals which shows that a well-balanced vegan diet is a healthy option at all stages of the life cycle including childhood and pregnancy. Well in terms of sheer brutality there's no industry on earth that comes close to the animal food industry. Every week we kill one billion animals for the purpose of human consumption and that's just land animals. It doesn't take into account the billions of fish and other marine animals that are killed. Most people are against violence and indeed in an American poll over 90% of people said that they felt it was wrong to unnecessarily hurt and kill helpless animals. Yet over 90% of people continued to unnecessarily hurt and kill helpless animals so they could eat them. It seems that in the process of uh, preparing animals for our food we forget the fact that the daily lives of these animals involves physical and mental torture through a process of incarceration, mutilation, rape, violence, separation from offspring and ultimately death. The only reason that this barbaric process can be seen as normal is because we choose to turn our heads away from what is the reality of animal farming and that's why it's been said that um, if slaughterhouses had glass walls then everyone in the world will be vegetarian. I think that if we are serious about wanting to reduce the rates of crime and violence in our societies, then we really need to look closely to see and to change the amount of violence that we accept in our own daily lives. There needs to be a revolution in the way that we treat other species on this planet. I think that every person should ask themselves, do I really want to support this brutal industry that involves the torture and the death of other living beings? Is there another way in which I can nourish myself? Yes. Will my food be just as tasty and delicious? Yes. Is there any reason why I should continue to support the animal food industry by eating animals? No. There was a time when human slavery was the backbone of the British economy. Do we really want to build our society on the torture and the death of other living beings? What kind of civilization is that? We don't even have to lose any money. It's simply a transition from animal farming to organic plant farming. Organic produce is always in demand and governments can simply support farmers to transition from unsustainable and environmentally polluting animal farming to the environmentally friendly and protecting organic vegan farming. In fact, governments would save a lot of money by making this transition. According to the Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency, a global adoption of the vegan diet could wipe 80%, that's 32 trillion US dollars, off the costs of mitigating climate change by 2050. Wake up. Your love affair with meat is the cause of untold damage to our planet. Meat is like a drug. Get yourself off the addiction. Learn about vegan food, learn how to make vegan food for yourselves and your families. It's easy, it's healthier for you, it doesn't cause environmental destruction, 
and it will protect the environment for your children's future. Every single person has an individual responsibility to stop contributing to the major cause of environmental destruction if we want to preserve any kind of future for our children. There's a very high cost to eating meat, much greater than is currently realised by many people. Whenever we eat animals, with every bite that we take, we make our children pay the price. In our ignorance, we're making their future look more and more bleak. We have tremendous power as individuals and as consumers. You can use your power to protect our ecosystems and to prevent the acceleration of climate change by putting aside animal products from your plates. It's easy, it's healthier for you and your family, it doesn't cause environmental destruction, and it's 100% cruelty-free. Our world is in crisis, and you can be part of the solution. Go vegan.